Sai Ram students, welcome back. Let us start a new chapter. That is second chapter of geography, motion of the earth. But before we start, let us take a short recap of previous chapter that is Chapter 5 Family Values In it, our first point was role in family decision making. In it, students, we have seen the likes, dislikes, thoughts and opinions differ from person to person within the family second was however we have love and affection to each other we make decisions after consulting each other then we saw the second point that was advantages of participation in families decision making in it we saw every member of the family gets opportunity to express his her opinion next every aspect of the subject is thoroughly discussed when our opinion is valued we feel closer to the family then the next point we saw was role in decision making. We read about the matters requiring citizens participation in the newspaper. It is advantageous to have everyone expressing opinions about the local environment. When we feel that a wrong decision is being taken by our elected representatives, government, we should register our opinion and thereby become a part of public decision making. And then the next point, our next point is effects of honest, dishonest behavior. In it, we saw honesty means admitting one's mistake. We learn to correct our mistakes by being honest. Honesty is our strength. Therefore, we should be honest with our friends and family. Everyone respect honest persons. Dishonesty means to cheat or our friends and family. Thereby, we lose self-confidence. The next point we saw was honesty in public life. Students, in it, we had seen we should observe honesty in public life. Thereby, we will get better public services and facilities. It will increase discipline and efficiency in public life. The next point was advantages of cooperation. Cooperation among the players in team sport improves the games. And the second was public events like fairs and rallies can be successfully organized by mutual cooperation. 
Now the next point we had seen was tolerance. In tolerance, we had seen tolerance is respecting opinions which are different from our own. We may not agree with each other every time. However, we must listen to others and try to understand their views. We should not insist that only our view is correct. People belonging to various religions, creeds, culture and following different customs live in our country. Diversity enriches our social life. The same can be preserved by tolerance. We can solve our societal problems by being tolerant. Our next point was gender equality. Students, in gender equality, we had seen gender equality means not to discriminate between boys, men and girls, women and give them equal treatment. Then boys and girls should respect each other. Basic needs of everyone must be fulfilled. Everyone should get opportunity to learn and make progress. And now we are going to start our second chapter. Motions of the Earth. Try this. Take a top. Spin it and observe its movement. See at this picture. The top turns around itself. Any object that turns about itself actually turns around a certain imaginary line. So let's see in the detail. The top spins around an imaginary line. The turning of the stop is called rotation. Rotation is performed around an axis. Students, now tell me what is the earth's rotation. Yes, the earth rotates around its axis. Earth's axis is inclined. You can see this picture of a globe. Students, you will see that the plumb line and the earth's axis are at an angle to each other. Now here plumb line means a line with a plumb attached to its use for finding the depth of water or determining the vertical that is the earth's axis is inclined the earth rotates with its axis inclined like this the line ns you can see in the picture shows the earth's axis it passes through the center of the earth the points n and s are called the poles of the earth. N is the north pole of the earth and S is the south pole of the earth. Did you understood? Yes. Now the next. Now what is north and south pole? The one end of the axis of the earth is called north pole which indicates with capital letter N. While the opposite point is called South Pole, which indicates with the capital letter 
S. Now we are going to see what is an axis of the earth. The line joining north and south pole means NS line is called an axis of the earth. Students, what is equator? Yes, the imaginary circle present exactly between the north and the south poles on the surface of the earth is called an equator. What is hemisphere? There are two hemisphere, northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. Now what is northern hemisphere? The hemisphere present to the north of the equator called the northern hemisphere. And the southern hemisphere? The hemisphere present to the south of the equator is called southern hemisphere as we have seen on the globe. Students, now we are going to try this experiment. What you can see in this picture? Yes, a candle, a piece of paper, circle drawn and a globe. Yes, now we are going to do this experiment. What you have to do is draw a big circle on a paper placed on the table. Keep a lighted candle at the center of the circle. Place a globe on any point of this circle as shown in the figure. Let the room be dark means you have to switch off the lights. The light falls on that side of the part of the globe which is facing to the candle is well lit. While the other part which is away from the candle is in darkness. So student, what you have learned from this experiment? Yes? Okay, I will help. See, what is rotation of the earth? The movement of the earth around its axis is called rotation. The part of the earth that faces the sun has day. We have seen in the experiment. While the other part which is not facing the sun has night as we have seen in the experiment of the candle and the globe. Students, you know the earth rotates from west to east during its rotation. The different parts of the earth come into the light of the sun one after the other and also turn away in the same manner. Now we are going to see sunset and sunrise, how it occurs. We will try this. This is an experiment we are going to try. Stick a red bindi on the globe. Red bindi, you know, which we put on our forehead. Set up the previous model of the globe and the candle as previously we have done. Turn the globe anti-clockwise. You are going to turn your globe anti-clockwise. 
students note now when it is sunrise noon and sunset are the location of the bindi you will see that this happens when the earth completes one rotation that is when it makes one complete turn around itself this is the picture of day and night on the globe what you can see on this globe yes the lighted part is our day and the dark part which is our night students what is a day yes we have seen just now the period of time that the earth takes to complete one rotation is called a day 24 hours is equal to one day 24 hours means 12 hours of day and 12 hours of night now what is an hour yes each day is divided into 24 equal parts for the purpose of measuring time this one part is called an hour students in mathematics you have learned 60 seconds is equal to 1 minute 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour yes now just we have seen 2 hours of day and 2 hours of night makes 24 hour of one day students what we have learned today first the earth's rotation second the north and south pole third equator fourth hemisphere fifth rotation of the earth sixth day and hour now we are going to solve this activity fill in the blanks first the dash rotates around its axis second earth's axis is dash the period of time that the earth takes to complete one rotation is called dash each day is divided into dash equal parts for the purpose of measuring time yes just guess the answers yes the first one the earth rotates around its axis the second one earth's axis is inclined the third one the period of time that the earth takes to complete one rotation is a day and the fourth one is each day is divided into 24 equal parts for the purpose of measuring time that's all for today let's meet in the next period of geography till then sai ram thank you